don't have cute photos like that anymore. Prick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Hello. It's fine. Did you hear all of the um, things that we were saying in Prezzo? I don't know if you were listening back. But not, was... not really. <laughs> I was kind of focused on the camera. No, 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 like um, in the recording. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I heard about that. I was like, oh God, you would... I'm so glad I wasn't editing anywhere near him. That was bad. Here we are. That's getting deleted. We're deleting that footage. I think I've said. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know what you're talking there about. There is no footage. There is no footage. What footage? Um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> right, so Ew. our first question is your... Should we introduce ourselves? Yeah, Hello. sure, why not? Ladies first. Um, Katie. My name's Jamie Pobbery. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about our music video for The Touch's Hot Mess. It was quite hot and it was a bit messy. It was a lot messy. Very messy. Definitely the paper. <laughs> but very fun and very interesting and probably one of the best projects I've done so far. I think it's the best films we've done as well. Because yeah. we've got two best cameras in this camera right here that we're filming on right now. Sorry, Me, camera. That, that, sorry, camera, but we got better ones than this. Um, so what's the first question? So our first question, if my phone would turn around, is your intentions. What did you decide to create? So um, I was in contact with The Touch, who are a local band Kettering, mm -hmm. um, and um, we were talking about a potential music video, and obviously the music video project was coming up. Um, so I talked to them about it and they were really happy to get involved with the project. And then my lovely man Jamie over Hello, here, um, we collaborated. I, and I volunteered, I just, he, I he, he did. was he like, you'll need tribute. help. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that, so our intentions were to make a music video for their new single that they could use when they released the song. Yeah, um, also, so my intentions were helping you really because yeah. I knew that Katie is not able to hold the camera and move and do a lot of stuff because yeah, of we were, it. Yeah, we were very much like... Um, What's the word? I'm trying to, I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to say how to articulate what I'm trying to say. But basically, um, anything that I couldn't do, Jamie could do. But anything Jamie couldn't <laughs> yeah. do, I could uh, yeah. do. So we very much, much like... <laughs> worked together very well we've and we've it was probably the, one of the best collaborations I think that's better than somewhat super 100% yeah. I'm, I'm so happy with the way this turned um, out but we'll get on to that in a bit <laughs> <laughs> so our next question we've been asked to talk about is how you met these so what did you do what change uh, what changes did you make etc um so our original plan for hot mess was Oh god, yeah. Quite a bit different from what we actually yeah. <laughs> came out with. Um, I would love to. I would love so to. we had the idea of having this girl and doing different like shots with her. Because mm -hmm. the song's all about a girl who this guy likes, but he's not really sure if he should be with her because she's a bit of a hot mess. Hence the title. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we wanted to get like a sh the shots with her, but we also wanted to have bits where. Uh, the band and the girl would be seen in mm. the same bits and the main guy of the band, Jamie, not this They're Jamie, not, not me, sorry. different Jamie, sorry. Um, <laughs> we wanted him to kind of be that guy, um, but because of all like time constraints and things mm. like that, we had to do them separately, which ultimately changed the way the end product came out. Mm. But in a way, sorry. I'm really glad that that actually happened because yeah. I think we came out with something better I think we came up than with what something... we'd originally planned. I would say some things were better, some things weren't. Yeah. Like the intro we could have done better. Yeah. Definitely. We could have worked a bit more on, but we didn't have enough time. We only had we about had... three hours when yeah, we got by the there. Time, by the time, by we, the set time up, we set up and, I and got there. everybody was there and we had enough people to be able to go, okay, right, yeah. we'll start now. Um, it was quite late, wasn't it? It was because quite late. It was about one o'clock, and we booked yeah. the place from midday. So yeah, we we, we were very much uh, restrained on time. In three hours. We did a lot in three hours. We though. did a lot in three hours. I'm so proud of what we did in Someone three hours. Bringing alcohol wasn't a good idea. It was a great idea. <laughs> it was a great Honestly, idea. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the people that came to the set uh, brought a crate of Corona. Twelve bottles. 
I remember how many because mm-hmm. people were just looking at me. So how many left? And I was like, well, there's 12 to start off with. And then there's like were, none. There was none. There was none. Katie had the last one. I had two. She only had two. Someone had three. No, no, no. Nathan had four. Did they actually? Yeah, he had four. He had oh, two no. empties and two in his hand. Um, so, but actually, oh, that, that was a prop that I didn't even realise that we would need until it was there because the, we, we wanted to create a party scene. Yeah. And everybody with the the drink in their hand oh, and God, stuff that like that, so it fun. made it so much better. You know what we should have added as well? Oh. You know, like little nibbly, stupid little bits. Yeah, that would have just made it just hilarious. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, from what we'd planned originally, mm. um, things didn't end up that way. But the things that we changed kind of made up for the things that we had to Do, miss. Yeah. And I think I think it worked in our favour in the end. Even though Very it seemed so, yeah. it seemed like it was going to be the end of the world, we weren't going to get a dart. It was so stressful. We were right to the bitter end, but we managed to pull it yeah, out. That was we um, pulled it out. And we, we pulled it out. We pulled it out. Yeah, and also we had um, another filming recording day, which was the thirty first. Yeah, so last we month. did our first filming on the thirty first of yeah. January with the girl that we had and that was that was really fun but the the only issue we had was lighting and different mm. sort of things because so, yeah because we, we originally well. wanted the lighting from college but something happened i can't even remember um, what happened so what happened is the, the it wasn't left for us because one of the tutors was out filming that day yes. and they were meant to be back by midday however the people who they were filming them wanted them for an extra three four hours mm-hmm. and that three four hours we were meant to be filming with his equipment and he had his equipment out already um but he was on the filming location he couldn't do anything about it yeah it was one of those things that's just not helped it really didn't help um, it didn't help us but definitely not. it wasn't his fault the, the good thing though, the really, really good thing, is we got to um, think of a different way of lighting. So we used our yeah, phones, we, we used our mobile yeah. phones for torches, uh, for some bits. We definitely, we, you, we used the reflectors a lot more than I've ever yeah. used the reflectors. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, that was really nice though, we got really nice, like a really nice crispy shot as yeah, well. Yeah, luckily we had uh, a friend of ours. Oh yeah, Logan. That was, Logan was really useful that He day. was uh, there, so we had an extra pair of hands to help us <laughs> And then Warren things, comes in. Which is very, very, very good, because <laughs> honestly I don't know what we would have done if he wasn't there, because mm-hmm. it would have ended up being a bit different. Um, yeah, definitely. But yeah, the, the problem was, obviously we were using natural light, mm. and because it gets dark quite early now, we, we had no time. Yeah. And you, you'll notice from some of the clips that we used in the video, that it starts getting darker, um, Quite, it kind of, um, it kind of actually works. It, it did work in the bits that I used. It worked in, because in the, bits, the yeah, the, you started. <laughs> the studio like bit with the band, the party atmosphere scene is very dark anyway. It's mm-hmm. not like not too I dark. I don't really know how to explain light. it. It's it's dark, but the lights are not. Even like the surroundings really dark, but like the lights yeah, just the bring out that color. Really dark. So having the yeah. dark bit wasn't so bad, and in fact. That's something I wish we had we had had time with that specific mm. light. So where it's not quite dark, but it's, dark it's not enough. light. Problem is, sun yeah. sets too quickly. Yeah. And we just we ended up like having to skip out some of the shots that we wanted because by the time we got to them, there was just too dark. There was nothing we could do about it. And, and also the buildings around us because there's quite tall buildings that cuts off a lot of the light. Yeah. And that's a massive issue we had there. But if it was like midday, say, or something just before then, it would think, be perfect. I think next time it would be good to have an inside, like an indoor. Yeah. Um, an indoor version of it. So, yeah. like, maybe like not, so that's what, that's not what, a what, library, um, but that's like. That's what Jamie wants us thing. to do with the released version. That'd be pretty cool. So, we're going to have like. Instead of it being outside, it's going to be inside. And that's what we'd do if we were um, doing the deadline to the yeah. deadline again. Um, that's that's something I would, I would, if we'd had more time, it would have been something that we would have been able to do a lot easier. Yeah. Because we would have had the time to think about it. Yeah, and also And we would have had out. time to plan it, get a location, things like that. But that just wasn't available to us in the time frame that we had. Yeah, we didn't really have that much time. No. We Plus, it doesn't, like doesn't help that we have to both get up extremely early. Yeah just to get to college yeah. on the days where we could just go out location scouting a bit later on mm-hmm. and yeah so that, yeah. that pushed up that bit. Right what's next? Ooh, um, how did, I can't even say that word, how does Asses, Asses 
the quality of the effect. Not oh, is even it, how did you assess? Assess. assess. It's supposed to be assessed. Assess. <laughs> That's not how you said. How did, how did, did you, you assess, assess the quality of your film? Give consideration to peer feedback based on your rough cut and final edit. So, wow. yesterday when I um, I shared my final edit finally with the band themselves, and the feedback I got was incredible. Honestly, I I was so like it kind of melted my heart a little bit because I put so much effort into my edit and we'd put so much filming into oh filming God, it and getting it done. Of filming. Oh my God! It was just like um, the last minute travel planning as well. Amazing. So. Um, they came back to me uh, and they said that they loved it so much uh, that they've asked Jamie and I yeah, to make their next music video for them and that's yeah. like outside of work, like that's our own time, that's our own thing and to think that we did such a good job in our college work that they want to use us professionally is actually really amazing. Looking at jobs in the future, yeah. <laughs> looking at our career and already. I, it's my first it's my first time of like freelancing or anything like that. It's your first time freelancing. It's my but third time freelancing, mm -hmm. but it, I've never gone filming and editing. Yeah. I've just done editing effects. But it's um, so in terms of feedback, we've we've actually come out with some really good feedback. The only thing was the the lighting thing because um, actually yeah. Jamie said that he didn't like that it was too bright. And I agreed because actually the contrast between it going oh, from <laughs> <laughs> it was just I think that having it inside is going to work. A lot also, if we did it inside, we'd have control over lights on certain yeah. times. If we did it in the afternoon or in the morning, we'd have more controlled lights. So what we're going to do um, for their actual version that they're going to use, uh, we're going to have like the inside. It's going to be dark, but yeah. kind of more like the the. Not the too studio not, film, not, so like not too dark, but not too light. It's more like the the band bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. But she's obviously just gonna be there. She's gonna like we're gonna try and get this like really cool chair. A great place would be stuff like that. I'd definitely like to say maybe a dark place, or like maybe a community centre. Yeah, we could we're, use, look, we're we could looking into it. So I'm gonna something. be speaking a lot more with Jamie in the next few days, the next few weeks, and we'll be figuring it out from there and that would be cool. So I'm really excited to be able to do that for them because I fully agreed with everything that he'd said to me about Fine. it and um, we're going to change the the actress that we used. Yeah. So, because we want to have, the song's very rocky, it's very mm. like headbangy kind it's, of vibe. It's very vibe. party, like yeah. emo style yes. vibe. Yes, emo, emo party, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> quite a party, it'll be nice. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I fully agreed with him that it would be better mm. with those changes and we spoke quite a bit last night about it and that's good. That's yeah, so that's the only that's the only feedback in terms of like negatively that I got. Yeah. It wasn't negative because I was agreed more with an it. Improvement than yeah, negative. definitely an improvement, but yeah, that, that's um, kind of the feedback. The only so feedback far. I've had is from my lovely friend here, Katie. He did this you did the, I really liked your um there's a the bit in the song where it gets the, the long R. Uh, I loved how you had that change each week. I, I, I sat down in the library and I looked at it and went, I don't want it to just be a shot, a long, long ass annoying shot that you're just going to look at and you might just go, right, that, go away, next one. I want it yeah. to be continuously so the audience are actually like always mm -hmm. looking, like seeing the shot change. I think I think what, what we should do is well, we should, um, we should put that bit in my edit. Yeah. And then well, kind like of like. The final one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Um, like create the final <laughs> one. Final one by us. <laughs> but yeah, have that bit of yours in yeah. mine. Because that bit, I, I honestly love that. I honestly I, love I, it. I um, spent and you about did it, an hour. And you now. did it very, very well. Like it was quite. Incredible. Yeah, it was. It was. I, all the beat stuff, I had to. I looked at each bar. And because I, I play piano anyway, so I know beats of the bottom stuff. Yeah, of course. Cool. I looked at different bits and went, right, I like this to be a bit fast paced, I like this to be a little bit slow, I like this to be just completely like the R. I was like, you know what, that's going to be extremely fast. Yeah. That's got to have that momentum. Because mm -hmm. um, it's, it's definitely a build up, because he goes, uh, and, and then it gets louder and bigger, and it gets, and then it's just like, boom. And there's like, there's a shot that we did when I was using the glide cam. Yeah. I was going up on a high angle, going around the whole room. 
I was going to use that, and then I looked and went, it's not appealing to me, so it wouldn't be appealing to you. Yeah. So I went, no, we're changing every little aspect. Mm -hmm. And I used the belt. I did that a lot as well. Some of the, the glide cam stuff, I, if I didn't like it, I wasn't going in. Purely for the fact that if I don't like it, I'm not gonna like just it. by looking at it, <laughs> then I don't think... I you, I you, have to, you have to look at it from a personal point of view, but you mm. also have to look at it from what the audience are going to view it as. Yes. And from my personal thought, some of it, I just I was like, I can't put that in if I don't like it. Yeah, and that's the, that's the same me, because yeah. I, I was the person doing it, but at the same time, I was like, oh, I really like it when you're in the moment. But when you look at it afterwards, it's like, actually, yeah. change it. Mm -hmm. I came, I, I um, in the end, after doing a few bits, I can't remember what I said or what I thought about, on the day, um, the day a few after, it's like, oh, I should have done this on the shot and that on the yeah. shot. And there was a few things that I was looking at. I was like, like, oh, I wish we'd done this. So, for example, the, 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 the one, the one thing that I really wished we'd done is we did a few more of the um, like the robot arm kind of. Style oh yeah, thing. I really wanted to do more of that. that. I really was... loved the transition oh, from. So nice. I really loved the transition from the drums to the guitar. Oh yeah. Then after that, I think what we needed to do, we needed to focus on them a bit longer before going out of it. So yeah. you, you have the bit where it goes. What I thought was you no, know, like half it. So. Boom. Yeah. But some of it just wasn't long enough. Um, and if I if I'd noticed that on the day, or if we noticed that, on the day, <laughs> yeah. it would have been different. But because obviously while we're doing it, we're not necessarily we weren't thinking in that headspace. We were we were thinking in party mood then, <laughs> um, technical mood. Yeah. I was in technical mood until. Let's say about until we did the like before we did the robot arm. Mm -hmm. I think before I did the robot arm, I really wanted to just have a rest because my arm. Um, I didn't say anything the day because I know I need to get it done because we only have a limited time. I did ask him if he wanted a break. And you he did. No. I said no because I needed to get. It I done. had snacks. You had snacks. Didn't even want any. I've still got so many snacks from that day. I I had the crisp packet right. Yeah. You gave me like the crisps, and I just left them on my windowsill for like a, about five twenty minutes, and then I noticed like, why is it walkers? Why is it like, oh, random? Shit. It's like I'll just have them, you yeah. know, as you do. All right, next. <laughs> yeah, better get on. <laughs> um, identify the key characteristics, codes, and conventions, genre shots, mise en scène of your music video, and uh, in your own music video. I think the having the like dark room and like stuff like that really fit with the genre of the song. Do you want to talk about music first? Because that's about basically everything apart from shots and the more technical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so so like the backdrops that we had, yeah. I think the grey worked really well. I, yeah, because we were going to originally get black and we went to Primark and they didn't have black. Yeah, because we didn't I want the fitted them. sheets. <laughs> We didn't want the fitted sheets because they have the weird like elasticated things. And it's also like so we wanted the flat board. ones, which yeah, meant flat that we could put them up. Oh my gosh, put them up. <laughs> we don't talk about that, we have so many issues. <laughs> we don't talk about that, we don't talk about that. That was um, fun. So we put them up, and I actually think that they worked better than black. Yeah, it was quite nice to have that black and white contrast now yeah. and then the glide cam when you saw yeah. that black and white and then you I saw the grey. So I was too. like. And also, it wasn't too dark and it wasn't mm -hmm. too light. Mm -hmm. That's what I think gave the reason. And um, we, were, we were really worried about the light going through them because they were oh, quite yeah. see through. I was, I was, I, to be honest. But they didn't. They did, yeah, they didn't. But I was, before we even got to set, yeah, after we, we bought them stuff, we, we I looked in. at them and I was like, uh, when we, were <laughs> we were looking at the different things and we held it up because we, we took one out of the packet. Oh, but no, we it was already out of the packet. Oh yeah, that one was already out of the packet. That one was already out of the packet, It was already out of the packet, but we just unraveled it. We opened it's it a little even bit. More. <laughs> we opened it a little bit and we were like, ah, oh, we held it up and to the light and we could, um, we were all getting worried about it, but it was like, yes. it was kind of like a, it wasn't, okay, but we need to get it because we need it and if we don't have it, it's going to be worse than... I would definitely say for it, like it was see-through, not see-see-through, but mm. it was slightly see-through. But the good thing is we're having it against the wall, so that meant if it's against the wall, mm -hmm. we can then just like maybe mask it a little bit and then change it if there's another clip which has got the same angle and it's, we can make sure that's 
out of the way. Yeah. But we Luckily, didn't have to. Yeah, we didn't it, have to. It, it was, was fine. perfect. Absolutely fine. I was actually really happy with the way they looked as well because I was worried about it looking tacky. That's what okay, I was yeah, worried I about it issue. not fitting. I also had the issue of like if it was ironed or not. I don't know why I thought about this. Yeah, because <laughs> if you think about it in the shot, if there's like lines on it, increases. You didn't want yeah. It. But none of those problems came across, which we were so thankful for. Oh God! Yeah. Honestly, we were so thankful for. Um, that was, I didn't, we just took them out of the package on the day because I was like, I don't want to get this out, then refold it and it will be crinkly again after writing it. Mm. So I, I leave it as it is, get out on the day, flat to a bit, and looks and went, okay. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> um, I think also, um, like the props that we had. Oh, God, like, the party Jamie, hats. <laughs> Jamie brought this like Not bag of one. stuff and we're like, what the hell is this? And he yeah. gets out all these hats and all these like. Um, the pilot hat. Why is yeah. the pilot hat? Oh, like, no one. It's like, hello. There was, like, yeah, there was pirate and then they had a captain's hat and. They had a dwarf also, one? Um, a Viking one. Yeah, that's a dwarf or Viking, whatever. Yeah, it is. and. Um, they had the. You know the one that you get on the horses and it's like got like silver on and it's got a little tinsley bit. They had that one as well. It was, was like, quite funny. That's American um, style sort of thing. But it actually really worked with the video because it just mm. gave it a little bit more like depth to it. I think it gave it to it gave it a bit more of like a a quirky vibe yeah. which I really liked because it's Added like it on. it's de it's the touch. It is the touch hands it is, down. It really is. It was quite fun. Also um talking about props and stuff. Um to put up the um sheets we used clips and thankfully one of our friends, Joe, in the class, um, told us that we should get some six inch clips. Now, it, they worked very well, um, but we also got other clips. And we, on the actual picture when we looked, there was railings. When we got there, there was no railings. Yeah. That the room really actually didn't look anything like... Like it was. It wasn't as big as the pictures. No, it, it, it wasn't. It was smaller. But in some ways, I'm kind of glad it was smaller. Mm. Because I think having that like intimate vibe to the video was kind of good. Yeah. And, it and I mean, the, it would have been a little bit better with more space. It would make it easier to use the glide cam as well by being, think, having been able to walk back. I think if the room was too big, it wouldn't have been the shot wouldn't have been filled as much as it was. Yeah. Because obviously, with the amount of people that we had, because we had quite a lot of turnout for that party scene. We had eight eight people turn up in the in the shot. Yeah. And then we had the band, which was. Five. Another, yeah, five. So and then there was us two. Obviously, we weren't in it, but. Your, and then you've got your friend as well? Or yours? My little sister. Yeah, your sister. Yeah, my little sister. I didn't know who here. it was, I didn't say anything. So we had how many people? Eight, uh, five, five yeah. six, something. So 16 of us yeah. in one. About the room. About the size, same size as so this, a little bit yeah, less. Yeah, I actually think. A bit less than this room. Maybe just a little bit less, a bit more that way. Yeah, it's a little bit less. So but, this room's bigger. It was it was and quite it was, a squeeze. It was it was a squeeze, but it, it was, was it was enough. Mm. Um, I really loved the the vibe of the place. Yes. It was just the energy was just so good. Yeah, I. To and be honest, everything that we had in the shot, like the props, the backdrop, they all really helped with the whole like scene. Yeah. And I think it was very rocky. Oh, it was definitely very rocky. The, the rocky scenes, and also um, we had we had one issue that I noticed after looking at all the um, footage is the um, guy cam movement. So we had fans on for the paper bit, which just goes flying. Yeah, so, so we, we had, had like the sun uh, newspaper, up newspaper and we just yeah. like, um, really small. And the only issue was uh, the glide cam because it doesn't like it's shaky. Um, when wind hits, and because it was three fans of one cloud cam, it was quite, it's quite an issue. Yeah. But I wanted, it I wanted to actually uh, touch a bit on that. The yeah. the reason that we wanted to do a bit more like handheld glide cam, that kind of thing, was to fit with the vibe of the song. Yeah. And I know definitely. a lot of people kind of look at us and go, "Really gonna do handheld?" And it's like. Yeah, about that. Um, <laughs> I was a bit worried. I, yeah, Jamie was very worried. I'm like, it's fine. We'll be fine. He's like, but we're not supposed to do handhelds. And I'm like, we got this. <laughs> and honestly, I'm so glad we did. Yeah. Because I liked those shots a lot more than the mm. rest of it. Because I think it just fits so well with the... It's a rock song. Yeah, rock, it should be. It's supposed to be a bit edgy a bit like it's not meant to be perfect like pretty and like oh nice like it's business. 
it's, it's, supposed, <laughs> it's supposed to have that vibe and it definitely had that vibe yeah and definitely with um do you want me to go on to shot types yes yeah so with the shot types i me and katie sat down and we came up with the shot types and did bits and bobs but after that i decided to watch mystery business by paramore where i maybe found the haven basically of all the shots we used a lot of that video for a Ideas. lot of inspiration we mm. didn't we didn't copy it by any means nothing no. like that but we, we, kind of we definitely shots. took a lot of inspiration from it because it fit exactly with what we were trying yes. to put, out. put down yeah but like watching that really helped come up with like the different shock types that we wanted. So we used we used like I really liked the um, cowboy shot, the one the, the cowboy angle. yeah the cowboy low angle that we that did on Ellie. Really that I really liked that because it kind of made her look like she she knew she was she was hot. She's like yeah, yeah and yeah. So what? She's like <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I really liked um, when we got to use the other glycam, so we had the other college one, which didn't really work that well. But when we went with Ellie, mm -hmm. we did the one where I, on my edit, there's a bit where she's like walking away. This is after the cut. She's still walking, and I just went, you know what, I'm going to keep panning around her. And yes. it's got really nice, really, I slowed down a tiny, tiny bit, and it's really nice how it goes. A bit yeah. too exposed, I would definitely say. Yeah. But. I definitely but say I think we used we that. did use quite a lot of different shots. We used maybe angles, not necessarily angles. like ones that we always used, but we yeah. wanted to get things from every angle so that we had more. We had more to Doesn't, kind of like leeway when it came to mm. editing. So if we changed our mind about something or we didn't like something or we didn't put it in, mm. we had like so many different options. So we yeah. did like so we had we had we had tracking. Yeah, we had we, the, had, we had the tracking, we had tips. the live cam stuff. And then we had the... We had it, tilts and pans, didn't we, yeah. as well? Yeah, and then on the uh, the day we had the band, we had the it on the tripod, just looking at the band. Then we had it from like a 45 so degree angle this side and a 45 degree angle this side. And then we had it where... Um, low angle drums, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we had low angle drums. And then we had a high angle drums at one point. Yeah, for the we did, I don't think any of us used that. We didn't that. use that because we got the light in the way, unfortunately. Yeah, that was the one. I know why. I I, I spotted it and mm. after I filmed it. That happened a couple of times. There was shots that I, I wanted to use but we couldn't use because there was light in the I, way. I used some of the lights. You know the shots with the lights in? I still use some of them because they still yeah, gave I off. Th it's they like, still gave it off. But. For example, um, are the one That's of the like stage lights. minute short films I made last year. Yeah. Um, End of the Tunnel. I used That's the cool. lights in the TV show yeah. and went around Sean. And uh, yeah. you could see the whole lights but i liked it and it actually added to the video more added to the concept, and i think yeah. if you do it right it doesn't look bad but it's some of the time when, when you actually where. just see the light it, it just it doesn't make sense yeah but for example the the bit around jamie's head so when, when we were doing uh, so i was on the glide i was on the glide cam you can see the you can see the light there but it looked like a spotlight from a stage yeah, that's what this is what I love about and these lights that um, yeah. we got from Dan, who's a really great tutor for us. He gives us these lights, and I'm just like, I love them to bits because whenever really whenever I get to use them, I know how to use them off my head because he taught me how to use them. Um, and what I want is because you can change the brightness, so you can have a cold or sun. Sun's yellow, cold's white, and I put it slightly yellow, slightly more white than yellow. But the yellow just brings that out, and when we went around, that that because the camera's about here on the head, and you could see the light. But no matter where that light was when spinning, it looked right. It looked like the right thing to do. And also, we got a little bit like a silhouette sort of thing as well. Yeah, we did. When we went around, which I, I loved. I gotta say, I didn't. I, I was going. Why don't we have someone walk around the light? And I went. This was I was thinking this in my head mm -hmm. today, and. Oh, well, we did, it would we be did too discuss bright. it as well, but we just didn't, it, it was going to be too much on his face. It would be too much, it would be too bright, it would be too exposed, the camera wouldn't be able to deal with it. So I was like, no, we're just going to leave it there. Yeah. And it, perfect, it was fine, now it was. Uh, and the other one is genre. Well, we kind of already covered that a little, quite a lot. With rock. <laughs> it's rock. No, it's, it's rock. It's freaking um, rock. I guess another thing we could talk about is sound. We didn't have to record any sound because it's a music video. 
Um, yeah, so we actually got sent the master copy of the song that the the, just, the version yeah, the that's longer. getting released. So they they recorded that with their uh, the recording studio. In mm. fact, it's the same recording studio that yeah, we used for our filming, Pilot Studios. They film all of the, they film they record all of their songs there. Yeah. So they sent us the thing. So all we really had to do was sync it, mm. which. I say it like it's easy, but it really wasn't. It was very, very difficult. I don't know, I don't was, know how you found that. It was that. harder for Katie, because Katie decided to delete all the audio on the drums. I found it a lot easier. Don't ask me why. I found it a lot easier <laughs> because the footage that we had was very, like, overpowering and very, like... Now, yeah, crackly, that that's make, the word. That makes, that's, that makes sense. But so what, what I did was I just deleted it and then yeah. synced it up, because for me, visually, it's easier to see Mm. Like the, so, he is doing the beats. So I'm like, if I follow his hand, yeah, it was easier. And the same with Andy and his guitar, because I did the sort of. It was thing. hard. It was harder for me listening to both tracks because okay. I'm like, what's going where here? So I, I just, I just had to take the audio out first. Yeah. Otherwise, my brain, in my brain, I just couldn't do it. That's and up. even though it may have taken me a little bit longer doing mm. it like that, it definitely made it easier for me personally. Yeah, so Katie did it that way. I did a little bit different. I kept the audio. And what I did is um, what we'd learned last year, which was multicam. Um, I decided to link all the... I didn't do it multicam way because whenever I do that, I never click twice. I only click once. Um, that's why I never get it correct. Uh, and when I did it, I basically synced up all the audio so it starts at the same time and ends at the same time shoved it on different track layers I think I had 11 visuals that's how many visuals I have of all the different areas and where it comes from and what I did is I got rid of the audio afterwards after I synced it all up with the actual audio and then played it and then I went for it when, whenever I liked a shot I'd cut that bit and then I'd keep playing and that's how I did it in case they did it a complete different way which is Katie's but way but worked. it worked yeah it both worked I think it's a matter of like uh, a personal like <laughs> opinion yeah not even opinion but like preference obviously if you think about it like uh, like some people you say 7 plus 6 is 13 yeah some people have to do okay if 7 times 2 <laughs> is 14 that's 7 and 7 then you take the 1 that's 13 so yeah. like brains work in different ways but there's there was always like more boys doing things and I think definitely. that definitely yeah, we had our own little ways of doing what we did. I definitely, I definitely would say like when we when we went filming, we both came with ideas on the spot. Yeah. Which was quite funny because I was going, I was looking at the lights because I wanted a silhouette looking at the back. So you know when we had the lights, yeah. rim lights, we used it for rim. Yeah. I really liked that because we had that going across up to don't know the drummer's name. Dave. Dave, that's <laughs> the one. I don't know any. I know Jamie. That's about it. See, I know. <laughs> I know the band because um, they work quite closely with the radio station that yeah. I work for. So I've met them a good few times. But this is the first time that I've actually been on the set. Not like working with them closely and speaking to them closely. Yeah. So I already knew Andy and Dave because yes, they're friends with my sister. But the rest of them, I didn't really know at all. So I didn't know them it's been really nice to <laughs> actually work with them. They're so mm. easy to work with, and they their are. energy is really incredible. Is. I mean, for Jamie, who's 40 years old. Yeah, almost 40. He doesn't he's look like, 40. He, he doesn't, really doesn't. He really doesn't, and he's, he proper goes for it every time. That man doesn't stay still. I don't know how he just You'll, you'll see going. it from the video. Yeah, that man does not stay it. still. Uh, there's a bit, there's bits behind the scene where I'm where Pac and when I did a film, we did a recording. Yeah. He just doesn't stop, just doesn't stop doesn't moving stop around. Him. Even when he's talking, he'll walk around like slightly. And even I'm just like, like what are you last, doing? even last night when we were having our conversation, he was getting so excited. He was like, "I've got so many ideas. We can do this for the next one. We can do this for the next one." And I'm like, "Ah!" Stop giving us yes. too many. Yes, this is amazing. But it's stop. amazing. Just Honestly, slow down. I love no, not even that. I was getting excited because he was excited, and I'm like, "Yeah, let's be excited." I like it when he's excited because he just get more done. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true fact. Um, so the next one we've got is comments on the quality and editing uh, are there notable uh, like continuity discrepancy well we did this <laughs> on purpose there, there, there was a few things that I did I made sure in there on purpose because the song is called hot mess yeah right I, definitely I wanted to make it a hot mess but not 
too hot. But <laughs> not just, that just hot. About, <laughs> so there's bits in the video that it kind of Easter egg things that I put in there. So for example, there's a part in it um, <coughs> when the party's all going, um, and Ryan's wearing the captain hat. Oh yeah. And then in the next shot, Dave's wearing the captain hat. <laughs> Only stuff like that, but apart from that, everything else was um, on point in terms of continuity. Yeah, there's um, there, was well, there was obviously like we did that on purpose. Otherwise, if we were really trying to put it properly, we would go, okay, this person's going to put this part, this thing on this person's head. This person's yeah. going to do this. This person's that. But basically, what we did instead of Come doing that, we just went, do what you want, yeah. grab <laughs> props, have fun. We're going to do this about five times. And they did. Eleven. We did that a lot of times. <laughs> we did that a lot of times. So we did it six times full. Yeah. I think, and then loads of times single. We had like a few dry runs where we literally just did like. Yeah, there was times where it was practice. like it was crazy. Because they were all like, "What do we do? What are we gonna do?" I will admit though, there is um, an issue with one of the guitar solos. I pointed this out. Um, is when the bass guitarist, the rhythm guitarist, the one with the beard. Uh, bass. Uh, yeah, the one, that one. Ryan. Ryan, that's the one. See, I don't know any of the names. Um, he was messing around with the drum kits and the drum, uh, the drumsticks in the behind. I saw that. I know exactly what you're talking about because I did the same. So basically, he wasn't playing. It was literally just Andy doing his proper guitar solo. Yeah. And the bassist, he was like, uh, he grabbed the like the sticks. <laughs> And you can see him just in the like background. Throwing them around. So what I did instead of I just didn't use it. I I used the close ups instead. I'll admit I used it. Um, I didn't use it when he was throwing stuff though. I used no. it when he was out of shot. <laughs> that was there was, that was a, there was, was a bit. I I literally did it up until the point where you could see him coming into shot, and yeah, then I switched that, that's the what shot. I did, basically. Yeah, and then I switched the shot after that. But yeah, that was that was a bit annoying, but. Um, yeah. He couldn't have known that he was in it because if we hadn't told him, like, I, I didn't mean, notice it I, at the time. I, to be honest, I'm the one who was with the camera and I didn't notice it. How I didn't notice it. That's why I mean, like, that's why I mean, like, it was so didn't focused notice on the guitar. Yeah. If it was a close up lens, if we were using the close up, I think we wouldn't be able to see him at all mm. because it would actually be focused more. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, we didn't. That, that was one of the that's things also we another really one, wanted. yeah. Close up lens, but we weren't allowed one because. By college, we only have one close-up lens, yeah, um, which puts us miles backwards because a lot of it wants close-up. Yeah, we wanted a lot of close-ups, and we so, could, we could, we did it, and I think it actually we did it with a wide lens. Good. I don't know how we did it with a wide lens. I don't know how we did it either. I but we did. Would, if you went to a uni, you'd definitely get told off for doing that. But yeah, <laughs> um, next we've covered quite yeah, a lot though. <laughs> definitely, let's go on this. Um, compare your music video with professional ones from the same genre or artist you did. We kind of did that with Misery Business. Yeah, so I'm gonna. So I'll talk we, a little bit more about it. If you want. Yeah. Because we only, we did Misery Business, and um, I don't think Kate knows. I didn't only listen to Misery Business. I actually listened to Crush, Crush, Crush. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. As well. Power really good for this. Um, and I also listened to. Uh, so I used that for wide shot ideas, but unfortunately we didn't have the time to plan out of getting massive wide shots for the chorus because I wanted to do that for the end chorus. We, yeah, we, massive, wanted to, we wanted to do the airstrip. Yeah, I really wanted to do that because that would be the I might actually mention that to Jamie because I think I think he'd be well up for an airstrip. I job. think if Joe was free one day, yeah, use his gimbal, mm -hmm. I was thinking we we're gonna go 180 degrees from one person to another and they're standing back to back. Yeah. And it swaps to a different camera. Yeah, I know shot. exactly what you're talking about. Anyway, anyway back to the back, point. But yeah. Get back to the point. We want to check <laughs> uh, the airstrip. Uh, where is it? So what? Uh, so air drone. We wanted to use the airstrip. Um, we managed to be able to get it, but we couldn't get there. So it was hard to get everyone there for the time that we needed to be there. So yeah. we only had like, what, an hour? Yeah, we only had an hour doing. to be there. So take away. We weren't able to do the big ass wide shots that we actually wanted to do. That's that's an issue, yeah, but what, that was a great thing that I saw on Crush 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 from Mystery Business. And also, um, what's the song? I'm not, I'm still into, is it I'm still into where I'm they have like that you. fish lens and I'm they have the into. record. You know that record playing? Yeah, and it's, I think. Um, I don't actually the, know what song it is. And it's not like a big, it's like a square-ish mm -hmm. one. I can't remember which one it is off my head. 
but from we I used in my portfolio there's guitar solo shots there's three different ones I think and that's where I got the ideas of where the actual guitar shots were and then when you added on oh I like this shot and I was like that's a little bit different to this one but it still works yeah. that's when my head was like let's just do it let's just roll with it but yeah, in one. comparison to the, the Misery Business That's what video, we used the most, definitely. We, we definitely used it a lot. We used it a lot for the shots. And I think we did a really good job. I'm actually yeah. really <laughs> happy with it. Like, personally, and I know that it, it's coming from me, but personally, I would be happy for that to be out there. I would do too, For yeah. a real thing. I've, and and yeah. they're happy for them. So when the song is released, um, they're releasing it next month. I just want to say something. I think this is they're good as like. Release. I feel like this is as good as a new release. Yeah. Like an actual release. Yeah. This, so this, this is an actual yeah. music video now, and. I think this is as to good be able as, like, to to be able to say that you've created release. something so good that someone's liked it enough to use it Even professionally. I think that's all the comparison you need, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's always a little bit yeah. critical things though when we go, oh, I wish we did this thing. Yeah, there are so many things that we, we wish we could have done. Yeah, definitely. And obviously like, we've spoken a lot about that, but with the time that we had, like there wasn't that long, it was like four weeks, just over four weeks. And to be able to say that we created a music video from scratch as good a quality as what we think we have done, um, I'm, I'm happy with us and I'm so glad that we managed to do it. And I think that no matter what little problems there were and the, the little things that may not have gone right I think that personally we did a really good job mm, especially because obviously like we just filmed the last stuff on Sunday yeah. and obviously oh, we God. were getting really worried about it oh, yeah. it's five days into a deadline and we're like ah but it worked I, we we did it we did and it we are so proud of ourselves morning because yeah, it I, took forever to export it it took, it took a whole me around. three hours to just put the put it onto the actual device yeah. and wait for it to explore. See, I only finished I finished my edit yesterday morning because uh, it took me around about twelve hours editing time. Wow. Obviously, with everything else that got going on as well, I think like I did my it was quite hard. Class. But um, yeah, a, also something I want to add on to this is mm -hmm. also the poster, stroke digital print. Which Sean has done. Um, which thankfully someone has done for the road. Not exactly, but... Yeah, we worked very closely with Sean. We worked, worked very closely with Sean. Sean was the other person who helped in this project. He's yeah, he did his own evaluation. He's, doing, he's already done his evaluation. He did it already. I was like, you can come with us if you like. He's like, sorry, I got done. I was like, all right, fair enough. Yeah, he, he told me that earlier. And yeah, I was, I was like, like how? damn you. How? Anyway, <laughs> what saying? But misery business, and we use that a lot. And basically... Uh, you were talking we about the poster. Oh, yeah, as well as the poster. So yeah, so that, that that's done. Done. So, thankfully. That's um, done, and I will talk about that probably more within my portfolio than on here. Identify the egg. Yeah, because there's My, my legs are <laughs> I think we've covered pretty much everything. Um, just trying to think. Did we have? We didn't, the only issue we actually had was transport and weather. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it. I just want to walk out the room now. I'm sorry. I do not understand. My mum is a pain. Anyway. That's all I'm going to say. Point is, <laughs> I'm amazing and I got Jamie a lift from uh, no, Charlie, one of the band members. Yeah. Um, so I was on the phone to everyone I knew. I was like, I need Jamie picking up from Cold Ashby. I was like, I need someone to help me out here. And everyone's like, oh my God, like, I don't have enough petrol or I don't have this, I don't have that. I'm like, ah. And then Charlie's like, I got you. And I was like, he, which was quite funny because he came and was like, I just came after I've done my Tesco shopping because, you yeah. know, he completely he forgot he about it. He was like, um, I'm running a bit late. I forgot. I had to go shopping. I had to go and get my click and collect from Tesco's. <laughs> Paying myself laughing. Um, and um, then we yeah, had that, other issues as well because it just started. It was, it was right just, in the middle of Storm Kira. Um, yeah. There was torrential rain. The, this, the wind was so high. We couldn't get to the toilet because of how bad it was. I, I went I went to go to the toilet. You have to go outside in parlour and turn left and go all the way down. Yeah, it was to the, too the windy last for you, door. definitely. I went out there, for the first time I went to go, I went out there and I came straight back in because I just got <laughs> soaked from the rain. And I, I, was like, I was like, I, was like, uh, I, was like, no I came back in and I went, yeah, I think I'll leave it for now. <laughs> <laughs> like... And then I finally went. Yeah. 
went to the, and I nearly got blown off the staircase. Oh my god, it was horrible. But luckily we were filming Honestly, inside. Yeah. I didn't we, know this. <laughs> luckily we were filming inside, oh. so the weather wasn't too much of an issue. You know what the nice thing we was though? Inside. When we finished, it was perfect. Like, yeah. When we finished, it was like the right thing. Yeah. When we finished, I was like, why don't we just take the band quickly to Kettering and do some like, little quick like walker <laughs> shots and then low angles. I was like, I really want to just do something. But Andy's like, already gone. Yeah, Andy was, was gone. gone. I don't even know what point Andy left. We were just like packing up and then we went, wait a minute, where's Andy? It's, he's, he um, takes, it doesn't take them that long because he's just the guitar and then feet or whatever it was. Yeah. It's not that big. So, um, yeah. yeah, like um, that the the biggest issue of this whole project personally for me I think is the fact the transport because it was so last minute it was if, if we hadn't been able hours, to 12 14 yeah, hours it was the night before um, and if we hadn't have got that in place we would filming have just it. wouldn't have been able to happen yeah which and I'm really thankful for having Katie I, here <laughs> I was I wasn't gonna let that happen there was yeah. no way I was letting that happen I was working extremely hard to make it happen yeah we'd already waited so long to be able to have the band in the first place after days. having issues with a different college in Kettering um um yeah other yeah. college which <laughs> shall not be named <coughs> trust them um <laughs> but they they stole the band for the weekend that we wanted to yeah. film because they had already said that they were working they were working with them on a different video um which I'd already known about, which but it was supposed to be in the days. week, and they were giving allocated days. Yeah. The, the tutors of said college, <coughs> Trisham, um, <laughs> they they uh, decided to book and pay for a location for the Sunday that we wanted to film with them, um, which put which us back a week. Put us back two, a week. Technically two weeks. Two, yeah, it put us two it weeks. Put us back two weeks. So um, the reason we didn't get all the footage filmed on the week we decided to film mm -hmm. was, was because of them. Yeah. And but I'm um, honestly like now it's not it doesn't really matter to me anymore. I'm just so glad that we able we were able to get it done. In the Last minute, minute filming end. was. To be honest, the night before, the night before when I didn't get when I, the transport was gone for me, and the day like the day that I was just been working out how to do the glide cam stuff, and I'm going oh no I can't take you. I was like, um. Oop. Uh, that was what we were like, dude. Uh, no. I was crying down the phone to my sister, like, even I want to get this done so bad. Even my boyfriend couldn't even lift me because he had to go to work really early in the morning. Yeah. Which, and he was like, if it's it's going to be busy in midday, so I won't probably be able to come pick mm -hmm. you up. Which was a shame. Which but luckily, shame. like, everything was sorted, and after that, it was absolutely fine. And on the day, there wasn't really that many issues on the day that we found, and it was just so much fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Not really? <clears throat> but yeah, have we got anything else to add? I don't. Um, I think we're done. We didn't get lost. That's the yeah, good thing. Yeah, we didn't thing. get lost. That's the that's the thing that nearly happened um, when we went um, when Charlie came to my uh, house or when. So when we go went back, me and Charlie, um, <coughs> he wanted to get to. We we're going to go to McDonald's quickly. This is probably not anything to do with this, but um, <laughs> didn't we couldn't get there at all, and we decided nearly going down the wrong way of the motorway <laughs> to get back. Funny. Um, <laughs> we were having issues there, but that was fine. That was after the shoot, so it's all good. Um, I think there's nothing else to yeah. add. Um, oh. As a little bit of oh. conclusion, oh, the weather on the day when on the photo first when we went filming was cloudy. Um, just an ad thing, just because. Yes, that didn't was. really help to. And we were really like, worried about the rain. Yeah, because we also because we if it started raining, we wouldn't have been able to film. Yeah. Um, like full stop because that's another thing I just just remember out yes, of nowhere. <laughs> that was fine. We actually managed to work with that pretty well, even and though it was quite windy. It was poor. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes some of the shots came out a bit shaky, which was a bit disappointing. But actually, with yeah. the rest of the video, it worked pretty well. Yeah, and, and I'm very happy. I'd say the good thing was the area wasn't that busy as well. That was a yeah. really lucky Completely moment. Completely like out space because it was middle of the day in a in a weekday. Everyone's at school. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's at work. work. So college, it was pretty good. Whatever, um, so in conclusion, all of this, um, I'm really personally really happy with what we did, yeah, and. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be able to work with the band again, and I'm so glad that this opportunity actually came up. Um, and obviously, uh, working with Jamie has been amazing. It's the first time that we properly worked together. Yeah, and definitely. Out of any project that we've done, any project that I've done since being part of this college, honestly, working with him was the easiest thing I've ever done. 
Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been told I'm the hardest person no, to work with. I, you've I'm... got. I think in. <laughs> I think in this um, industry, you have to find those people that you work with well. Yeah. And I definitely you have to definitely gel well. with them. When I was working with per other said person yeah. a lot in the past, I we clashed a lot. Yeah. Like we would argue about stuff a lot because yeah. we stressed each other out. Like, but with you, I feel like that we've worked really, really well. I think that we, we really helped each other out of bad bits as well. When we when we oh, were like yeah. having Gosh. those bad days where we thought that we weren't going to get it done and we were like okay, having, yeah. we, were, we were scared and we were worrying. We we helped each other out of that and we Casey's helped each other through that. Casey's the most like kindest one because when I was literally having, I think I had a breakdown yeah, yeah, I quite it was very a massive upset. breakdown on the side. I was like, it's night. fine, I we've got gone. this, I will sort this for you, I've got this. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> when you're working with someone, you have to help them out. Yeah. Like, it's not, it, it's a team, and there are. There's no, there's no buts or You have to literally. Just do it. I know that if it was me, Jamie would have done the same. Yeah. And at the end of the day, this this was a project that both of us wanted to be a part of. I wasn't going to do it without him. That, that and I wasn't, <laughs> not even that, no, even if I had the equipment, I wouldn't have done it without you. Because at the end of the day, uh, I would never ever put you in a position where you would fail. Yeah. Because I wouldn't uh, do that to you. Same. Because that's just not teamwork That's just and I'm very pain. very much part <laughs> yeah. of a team here and yeah I'm, I'm really glad that we work together and I I'm hope that we can too. continue to work together in the future hopefully we will with the next music video but yeah thanks for watching our little evaluation by little I mean very big for a long time but I hope we've covered enough um, so we, we, spoke, <laughs> we spoke about our editing we spoke about the different shot types we spoke about the filming the problems genre, we came up with the genre every prop we had, all the things that we had. I think we're good to Backstage. go. Love you long time. Peace out, suckers. Chill. Now we can stop the video. Sure about that. Just keep this in. Because I'm just going to keep this in. I'm reckoning what time we're going to go on break in 10 minutes. It's and 2 I want food. It's Friday the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Yeah. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs>